Hi, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you how to kill a wasp nest in an inaccessible roof space using wasp killer powder. Okay, in today's toolkit we've got wasp killer powder from rent to kill Full information about the product will be available in the description at the end of the video. So the chances are if you're watching this video you already know you've got a wasp nest to deal with. But what are the signs to look out for? Well, you've either been plagued by an unusually high number of wasps. You might see wasps darting in and out of the roof between the gaps between the roof tiles. Or as in the case of a nest I had a couple of years ago, I could actually hear a crackling noise inside the walls. When should you treat wasps? Well, the best time to treat them is in the late evening when most of the wasps have gone back into the nest and activity around the nest is at its lowest point. How many applications do you need? Well, you may find you need two applications because after the first application, newly hatched wasps will continue to appear for several days after the first treatment. And that's exactly the situation I've got with the wasp nest featured in this video. I treated the nest about a week ago, it all looked fine, and then suddenly wasps started coming back out of the roof tiles a couple of days ago. In this situation, a second application will be required. Before you use this wasp powder, please read the precautions on the back of the packaging, not least about the environmental effects and the do's and don'ts about where you can use it and how to use it. And finally, and most importantly, Treating wasp nests is really dangerous. I'm about to do it in this video because I've treated a few wasp nests in the past. I know what the behavior of the wasps tends to be and so I'm willing to take the risk of treating them. Also, most of the wasp nests that I've treated around my cottage are pretty accessible so I can get in, treat the nest and get out quickly. If you can't guarantee getting away from the nest quickly after treating it, don't try and do this. Get a professional in instead. If wasps sense that you're about to attack the nest, they will fly out and try and sting you. So, if you've decided you're gonna treat your wasp nest, make sure you've got a carefully planned exit route. Whether it's down a ladder or whatever it may be, you've gotta treat the nest and then get quickly out of the area before the wasps have any chance to react. And finally, if you've got any doubt at all about doing this yourself, get a professional in instead. It's just not worth the risk of being covered in stings. I'm not wearing protective clothing in this video because I'm pretty confident about what I'm doing, but I borrowed some clothing a couple of years ago and it made the job of treating the nest so much easier. So wear whatever protective clothing you can get your hands on, such as gloves, thick jumpers, to cover up as much exposed skin as possible. And better still, if you know somebody who's a beekeeper, see if you can borrow their kit because that's the perfect way to keep protected. Right, I'm gonna take a very cautious look at the nest. See them coming in and out quite clearly. Now that shows me exactly what entrance and exit they're using. There's two exits that I've got to blitz with the powder. Okay, it's 25 to 9 in the evening. Because of the balmy weather we're having, the wasps are still quite active, so I've got to be really careful. So I'm going to go up the ladder and I'm going to quickly zap them. Okay, here goes. Okay, that's that done. And now I'm gonna retreat back to safe distance and see what's happening. Okay, you can see sudden increased activity in the nest as the wasps immediately sense that the powder has been sprayed into the entrance. Now the great thing about this is by coming in and out really quickly, they're all getting powder all over them, which will be both contaminating the nest and obviously all the wasps that come into contact with it. So, totally different situation to yesterday where it was a hive of activity. No wasps flying in or out of the gaps between the roof tiles. So I think we've successfully killed the wasp nest. So I hope you found this video useful. Remember, this powder is best used on inaccessible nests, such as those in walls and roof spaces, inside garden trees or underground holes. If you are gonna treat your own nest, remember to observe all the safety precautions that I've outlined in this video. I don't want you to get stung, 
So make sure you wear protective clothing, make sure you've got a well rehearsed exit route after applying the powder and get away from the nest before the wasps have any chance to react. If you like what you've seen today, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below where you'll have access to all my other content.